What is good, YouTube? We are back with another video, and as y'all can see from the title, today we went with a different approach from what we usually go with. You know, the regular point guard builds we always make. The play shots are favorite, hands down. The uh, full yellow pie chart, playmaking, everybody love that build right now, 6-7. Today we went with a shooting guard, 3 and D type of build, you feel me? On, on defense, it's clamping up everything. You come back to offense, if you leave him open at the 3, he's lighting you up. Plus, it got a sharp takeover, too, so you know this on Demon Time. But when y'all see the title of this build, it's going to blow y'all minds with the takeover that we have with it. And I'm going to let y'all know right now, this build cannot speed boost, so bear with me. I'm telling you, it cannot speed boost. But every guard build don't need the speed boost for you to score. I done seen the best guards, the compiest guards, y'all like to call them, light people up without being able to speed boost. You feel me? My boy annoying. Y'all see what he be doing. He don't even speed boost. So, but I hope y'all enjoyed this video, man, because I put a lot of thought into this build. I really feel like it's going to be top three builds in the lockdown category. If not number one, I'm telling you, because it's different. Once y'all watch the whole video, I'm telling you, y'all going to see what I mean by it's different. But please make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. And also, can y'all follow me and my brother's socials down below? It will be down below. Please make sure y'all follow us on Twitch and Twitter. And I hope y'all enjoy the rest of the video, man. And don't forget, if you got it, you ain't never gonna stop shining, man. And let's get right into the video. Peace. All right, so for the position that we're gonna be choosing today, I know y'all so used to me um, choosing point guard. Most of the builds we done came out with, well, all of the builds, um, guard builds we done came out with this year's point guard position. But this time we're going with shooting guard position and the reason why is so we can get that, that little bump in the height. And also, some people tell me the speed goes up when you a shooting guard, but I don't think so. I'm not 100% sure, but I don't think so. Because when I did it, actually, one of the builds when I did do it, the last um, guard build video that we did, when I went shooting guard, it actually was slower. But I guess, I guess, I don't know. Some, multiple people told me that, though. All right, so for the jersey number that we're going for, we're going for 11, since this is a Klay Thompson type of build. You know what I'm saying? All right, so for the skill breakdown, I know y'all used to me using the yellow and green, my favorite, as, as always. We got to point it out. This is a new yellow and green. We're not using that one. I know y'all used to me using the all yellow one. The main one everybody gonna be using this year. Mark my words. I done most of the build videos on the scene guard wise. Everybody has used um this yellow pie chart. But in this video, we will be using this pie chart, the very last one. The is mainly green. I mean it's mainly red. Uh mostly green and then yellow and um blue the the minimal. All right, so for the physical profile that we choosing, I'm going for the top one. We're trying to get as much speed as we can, so we want to be slow, sluggish. Since this still is a guard player, we don't want to be sluggish, you feel me? All right, so for the attributes, what we're going to do is we're not upgrading the close shot. We're forgetting about that because we only get one finishing badge on this um build. No matter what you do, no, the highest you get is like four. Hold on, let's max it out. Let's see what we get. I think it's four, but... That shit don't really matter. We need, oh, six. Six, actually. But we not doing that, though. We're going to max out our driving dunk, driving layup, and that's it. Shooting, we are going to max out everything. Shooting, we maxing out everything so we can get as much shooting badges as we can. And the reason why we doing this, we put in 17 shooting badges and maxing out everything so we can get sharp takeover with this build. You feel me? With a higher wingspan. We don't want to go, y'all going to see. Y'all going to see. Let's finish this up first. All right, so for playmaking, we maxing out everything too, so we can get as much playmaking badges as we need. We, of course, you need playmaking badges as a guard. And then defense, where it's at for this build, we maxing out everything. Defense, and then we put up the last six attributes on block. If y'all didn't see what I just did right quick, I maxed this out, then I put the last six on block, and as y'all can see, we got a 74 driving layup, a 70 driving dunk, 80 midi, 78-3, uh, 75 pass accuracy, 82 ball handle, 87 perimeter defense, 87 lateral, 93 steal, 44 block, 72 defensive rebound. And I know y'all probably be looking at me like, why do I upgrade my defensive rebound? I'm not going to lie to y'all. My first build that I made in 2K20 was a 6-4 play shot, and I did not have no defense rebound. And I'm not, I'm not lying. When I tell y'all, when I made my 6-5, it makes a big difference on the twos when you got a defensive rebound. A big difference. Like, people will, guards will snag over you. So make sure y'all upgrade your defensive rebound. 
All right, so for the body shape, that's optional. Y'all can choose whatever y'all want, but we just gonna stick to solid. As y'all can see, 6'5", that's the height we going for. I will go 6'6", six, six, but we go down three in ball handle, and I really don't want to go down super, you know, I don't want to go down too much on the ball handle. So we're gonna stick to 6'5". It's still a great height to play at. All right, for the weight, minimum weight, so we can get as much speed as we can, of course. We always want that speed, especially me. I always want that speed. Even though we can't speed boost on this build, you still want the speed, you know what I'm saying? It can get you open, you can dex players and shit. So we're gonna minimize the weight. All right, so for wingspan, I know y'all used to us going minimum wingspan, but we're not doing that this time. We actually gonna go up in wingspan. We're gonna keep, all right, matter of fact, I'm gonna go up one and see if we got sharp takeover. Oh, we do. We're gonna keep going up one until we don't have sharp takeover. All right, let's do it. Go up 84.2, still got it. If we go up to 85.1, we let's see. Okay, so we're gonna go down one in wingspan and we're gonna stick to 84.2. That's the longest wingspan we can get and still maintain the sharp takeover. So the close shot we're gonna get is uh, 57, uh, 71 driving dunk. We go down in two in midi and three point. We go down one in ball handle, it's all good though. We go up. We go up hella in defense. We go up one in perimeter, lateral, up two in steal and block and defensive rebound. So I, I'm liking this build a lot. I'm liking this build a lot. And for the takeover, we already spoiled it already. We're going with sharp takeover. Of course, it's a three and D player. We want to have good defense and also be able to light up our opponent anytime we want to. And once you get this takeover, it's GG's. Automatic greens, damn near. I hope it's the same as 2K20 though. I hope it's the same. But we're going sharp takeover. Let's see what we made, though. Let's see what we made. A perimeter lockdown? Ah, oh, damn. I ain't gonna lie. I was hoping it was something other than a perimeter lockdown. I ain't gonna lie. I was hoping it was a, a unique type of name. But I'm not surprised. It is what it is. Hopefully, they, when they do see you have a perimeter lockdown, you got a sharp takeover, they probably leave you open. And it's a shooting guard build. So we'll see. We'll see. I like it, though. I, I'm messing with it. The um, people we play as, supposedly, Drew Holiday, Richard Hamilton, and Victor Oladipo. I don't know if that's the best comparisons, but that's what they said. Let's get on to the badges, though. All right, so for the 100 finishing badges that we got this build, we threw our badge onto Relentless Finish. I know, it doesn't matter, but the bad, if y'all wanted to see it, we put um, the one badge we get on Relentless Finisher, so when we do get to the paint and stuff like that. All right, so for the shooting badges, more interesting than finishing. Difficult shots, we put on gold, green machine gold, ranger center gold, hot zone hunter gold, and dead eye gold, and then catch and shoot and silver. I'm not really a catch and shoot player. A lot of people, when they come to our streams, they always telling me, when last year, they used to tell me put on catch and shoot and stuff, but I thought it was useless, to be honest. Cause you can green eight for eight from the three, without catch and shoot and i used to do that so i don't know if it's gonna be um more some people say it works for them but in my opinion it doesn't work for me i don't know i could be wrong but we just threw it on there just to have it but we'll it could change around like i always say when the actual game comes out all right so for the playmaking i put silver ankle breaker silver unpluckable i was debating on whether if i should put ankle breaker on silver or should i put it on tight handles but I really don't know if tight handle is going to work this year. I know it worked in the beginning of 2K20. And then people said they passed it later on. So I really don't know how this is going to work. Like, I really don't. I want to see how these badges work this year. I hope they they come, they come in hard. You feel me? Pause. I hope they, they really do their thing this year. But we'll see. All right. So for the defense, the most important on this build. See, what I did here, I just separated... Like, I try to get as much badges as I can as a lockdown because a lot of them is useless. And especially, we are guard at the same time. So, Intimidator is Hall of Fame, of course. The reason why, it was the mo one of the most OP badges last year and the most OP defensive badge last year. Clamps, Hall of Fame, of course. Uh, Interceptor, I put a Hall of Fame. The reason why is last year when you put a Hall of Fame, you got a lot of animations. And I seen that when I had my center. My uh, two-way stretch five. I got a lot of animations when I had um, Hall of Fame interceptor. Like the compute, like it would uh, it would automatically make you reach, automatically give you the steal, poke ball, and all of that. So 
That's why I put it on Hall of Fame. Pick Dodger, we put it on Silver, just in case we got them annoying ass centers that set screens all day. Rebound Chaser, the reason I put it is to help the uh, center actually get boards. You feel me? Like, you gotta help your own um, big. Uh, rim Protector, so you can block boards at the rim. And then chase down artists just in case somebody blows by you and you trying to recover and stuff like that. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. If y'all made it to the end, please comment down below. And to all the new people, please make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe, man. Please subscribe. Hit that like button to help us out. And make sure y'all check our socials down below in the description if y'all want to follow us up on Twitter and Twitch. Me and my brother, this is a two-person channel. And as we always say, if you're grinding, you ain't never going to stop shining. And we'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.